That's the first trick. Next, we're going to do doggy sit-ups. Down, sit, down, sit, down, sit, down, sit. Good boy, good boy. So basically, uh, what we want is to, to be able to do the trick without using your hands, without cueing. All right, uh, the third trick is pause, pause up. All right, drop, settle down. Drop, pause up. Nope. All right, and that is a very common thing for the dogs to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try it again. Pause up. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. This is basically taught by luring. And usually the mistake that we make is we overlure. And, and, and so the dog jumps up with all four. Good boy. Okay, I'm going to try it one more time. Drop, pause up. Yes. Good boy. Okay. All right, our fourth trick is the spin, which we teach by luring. Initially, it's going to be spin, twirl, but what we eventually want to do is just be able to flick our hand. Spin, that's it, twirl, good boy. Spin, twirl, spin, twirl, good boy, good boy. Okay, our fifth trick is the peekaboo. Drop the behind here. Peekaboo. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. And again, this is also initially taught by Lori. Um, you may need to get the dog to, to kind of behind you and then lure him through your legs. Sit. That's it. That's it. Okay. Good boy. Let's try it one more time without food. Drop. Peekaboo. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. And our last trick is the crawl which uh, there's a number of ways to teach this, but I'm going to show it by luring. Drop down, down, that's it. And you would basically lure the dog with a food treat. If the dog's rear end comes up, you're probably pulling the food treat too fast and too far. And what we're gonna look for for the final product is drop down, crawl, 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 that's it. Let's, let's do it one more time. Come over here, buddy. Drop, down, crawl, crawl, <laughs> good boy, good boy. All right, thanks, drop.